What up, though? It's your man's 2C Deuce. Fuck with me. What's your creative process like when you're in the studio? Shit, when I'm in the studio, nigga, I don't, I don't go to, uh, I don't go to nobody's studio unprepared, bro. Like, nigga, I, and I also don't like going to no little hoe-ass studios either and shit, like nobody basement and shit, nigga, no, no shit like that, nigga. I go to big nigga studios, 50,000 an hour, that type of shit, whatever it's called. That's a crackhead lighter, y'all seen that shit? <laughs> <laughs> Dope ain't lighter, nigga. Hell yeah, but, uh, my creative process is basically, bro, get my fucking money's worth in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, being an a, a artist who been doing this shit for a minute, but just realizing the way of doing this shit, like, I don't want to go to the studio and then sit in that bitch and write my songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to go to that bitch already prepared, and I low-key direct the engineer. You know what I'm saying? I low-key direct him. I let him know, like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I want to start off with my course, or yo, this song ain't got no course. I'm just going straight in. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I go in there, I, I, I lay my shit down if I got a course, and then I double that bitch, and then shit, I go straight in and go do my ad libs after the verse. And then shit, once that shit done, I listen to that motherfucker. If that shit sound like it's rocking, shit, I go to the next song. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, if I'm gonna pay a nigga $50 for an hour and I go in that bitch and spend $100, shit, I wanna at least walk out with four songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, make it worth my, my motherfucking money, make it worth my while. So, what's some artists that you would like to uh, collaborate with, you know? Uh, from the city or just in the game, period? Just, just period, from, from Memphis to Detroit. Or, you know, as an artist, you collaborate and you uh, connect with different artists. They don't got to be from those two cities, but, you know, seeing, seeing that you're frequent from, from both with some artists from from Detroit in there that you would want to work with? Uh, shit, nigga, I for sure want to work with Vezo. I for sure want to work with Icewear Vezo, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I love to work with Peasy, um, so far as Detroit artists and shit. Uh, I love to work with uh, Sada Baby for sure. Um, that nigga a little younger than me and shit, but I, I respect that nigga flow to the tip top. You know what I'm saying? Like, dog took over from a whole nother level and shit. Um, let me see who else. I love to work with payroll too. I fuck with payroll. I've been fucking with payroll since like fucking kid type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. After the Cheddar Boys lost their little wave and shit, and Dope Boys took over, nigga, shit. Payroll was a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, so shit, a nigga love to fuck with payroll. What about, uh. I like Cash Kid too. What about some artists from the other way? From um from Memphis and yeah, shit, from, from like down south and shit. Shit, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. Uh, I fuck with Dolph Tough, nigga. I love his music, nigga. Shit, I fuck with Dolph. Uh let me see, nigga. It's a nigga that's locked up uh from Memphis right now called Finesse two times. He be having uh having Memphis rocking and shit, you know what I'm saying? Even though he's, he he locked up right now, that nigga straight. You know what I'm saying? Uh Money bag, yo, for sure. You know he a lyricist. I really, I, I like working with lyricists. Oh, and, and I can't forget Dame Dot from Detroit either. I, I gotta fuck with Dame. Gotta fuck with Dame. That nigga make his own beats and all that shit. I gotta fuck with Dame. Uh, let me see. From Memphis, uh, I also like the uh, Black Youngster too, cause that nigga be fooling. I like niggas that be fooling and shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh. Really though, uh, shit, I, I just like lyricists and shit though. Like shit, if we can get on a song together and, and actually make niggas go, what the fuck is these niggas saying? I'm with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If we can spaz together, I'm with it. So seeing from the from the from the time that you that you started rapping, or not, how did the game change? You know, obviously it, it got more digital. You know, a lot more people can pop off of social media. You know, uh, how's the game change in your opinion? Shit, I ain't gonna lie, bro, like, shit, I'm 32, my nigga, like, shit, I come from that era where it's like, nigga, motherfuckers was handing nigga CDs out, the, out they trunk and shit, you know what I'm saying, like, nigga, shit, you be at the gas station, you pull up to that bitch, it's always a nigga up there like, shit, you wanna buy my CD, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, for a street nigga, 
when this shit switched, it was like it switched overnight. You know what I'm saying? And for a while, it was like a mystery for a street nigga who really just don't know too much, you know what I'm saying, musically on the business side to find out how to get their music online, like besides just jumping on YouTube and recording themselves type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when I actually found out the ways to do that type of shit, that's what kept me, you know what I'm saying, into that motherfucking shit. So now that I see how the game done changed from that to being digital, you know what I'm saying? Like, I actually think it's a better thing. You know what I'm saying? Because for one, niggas ain't even listening to no fucking CDs. You barely getting cars that are getting made with CDs in them bitches. You feel me? Yeah. Like, so shit, if you can motherfucking find a way to get you a crowd, you know what I'm saying, digitally, shit, you look here, you kind of winning and shit. So has the game changed you? Uh, hell no. Nah. Game ain't gonna never change me. See, it might change my approach to some shit. But it ain't gonna never change me. Like, shit, I'm a solid nigga. It's gonna take a lot to change me. Fuck that shit. If you had to uh, open up for somebody, uh, concert, you know, you're you on tour, who'd you, who'd you open up for? Uh, who would I like to open up for? Yeah. Uh, I like to open up for fucking Jeezy or, or fucking Gucci, nigga. Shit, I like to open up for Rick Ross. Nigga, I like to open up for Meek Mill, nigga. What, nigga? Me open up for Meek Mill, nigga? You tripping, nigga. I'd be tripping on that stage, dude. That'd be a fuck. That'd be like a real, like, one of them accomplishment joints. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, do something with Meek. What, nigga? <laughs> Man, I'd be laughing off of that shit, bro. For real. If you had to uh, describe your, 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 your style to the fans, What's, 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 your, what's your rap style like? I feel like uh, I feel like I'm very articulate with my flow, but at the same time I'm punchy, but at the same time I'm really aggressive. Like, but you barely gonna get any soft shit from me. If you get some soft shit from me, it's gonna be something that. I'd be like, yeah, I kind of was feeling that shit. You know what I'm saying? Or I probably was feeling myself that night. I probably got blown off of some of this shit right here and jumped in the booth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. But uh, other than that, though, yeah, my, my, my style kind of raunchy and shit, man. Like, I, I talk about what I know. I talk about what I've been through. Or I talk about some shit that I done seen before or some shit that I done seen play out. Or, like... A couple homies of mine probably done been through some shit, told me a couple things or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I just put it in my words. You know what I'm saying? Type of shit.